get a check in your forecast tonight. Meteorologist Peter Hall has been tracking a system. Pete, a lot of people are wondering how it will impact their weekend plans, when it all begins, how much we get. And when does it end, too, is the other yeah. half of it, right? Yeah, good points. Let's get right to it and talk about it. First off, if you notice any flurries, let's go to the live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Fossil Surface Experts. Any flurries that you see this evening have nothing to do with that storm system, so that's not a worry. Let's zoom out and show you what's happening right now. In fact, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been tweeting out, Tornadoes on the ground right now in Texas, and unfortunately, a major severe thunderstorm is heading right towards the DFW Dallas Fort Worth area right now. So, we have to watch this carefully as there is an opportunity for some major weather there. It's part of the same storm system that's going to be coming our way by around this time tomorrow. Now, it's not going to produce severe thunderstorms, but it will produce a burst of snow. Remember, a chance of flurries this evening, but then we'll be in and out of clouds late tonight through tomorrow. And I think we're relatively quiet tonight and a good chunk of tomorrow, too. Notice in the future cast, we stopped it at noon. Might even be some dim sun left over as clouds thicken, but we're still OK. But as we get closer to the rush hour and especially dinner time, now we're talking that snow starting and an initial push, the first burst of snow will give an opportunity for a quick coating to an inch or two during the early evening hours. But after that, at least the way it looks to me, there will likely be a change over to sleet rather quickly for the Finger Lakes and Southern Tier and areas south of Route 20. And there should be a change over to sleet or even some on and off precipitation as far north as Syracuse and parts of the immediate central New York area. Even some rain getting involved, believe it or not, for parts of western New York and even the Finger Lakes and Southern Tier. Notice, though, it's all snow, North Country and Adirondacks. Whichever you have, we will all transition back over to snow. Notice this by Saturday morning, and then the storm system pulls out during the end of Saturday. With that in mind, here's my snowfall forecast. And what you see here is total snowfall through Saturday morning. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if a quick half inch or an inch or two might go on top of this at the end of the day Saturday. But overall, here's what I've got for you. Where it stays as mostly or all snow, six inches or more likely. Tug Hill, North Country Adirondacks, and the best chance for double digits or a foot of snow, the Adirondacks, including Hamilton County. However, the best chance of staying as Mostly a quick snow over to sleet and rain situation is the Finger Lakes, where it wouldn't surprise me if you're in the gray, while you might get a quick inch or two, that it melts off to almost nothing or just a coating of slush for Auburn, Scipio, and Seneca Falls. In between, notice we've got Syracuse in two to four. But again, some of that's going to get compacted, but that's what I've got for now. If you're a little further north and east, now you're talking four, five, or six in the blue. And again, best chance of getting to the six or more, Northern Oneida County, north and east. As always, I'm looking at new information coming into the Weather Center, and a small shift in how the storm system tracks could mean that we make adjustments to that snowfall forecast. That's why you got to stay tuned for our updates, especially the 11 p.m. newscast. Stanley Law Skywatch. Well, for now, it's quiet. Back inside.